Hey everyone, welcome to Judging for the Win. I'm Dave, and this is my daily ruling. Today's question comes to us from a viewer, thanks to Nutmeg, for this one. Amy has a curd ape, and she plays a clone, copying it. Later, Nick plays Sydney in a bottle. Which of Amy's permanents are affected? Alright, so before we get too deep into this one, this is going to be one of those cases where knowing the exact oracle text of the card in question is going to be very important for getting the right ruling. So if they were going to print City in a Bottle today, then it would probably end up looking something like this. Alright, did that change what your ruling was going to be? So the first thought on a lot of people's minds was probably that the answer should depend on which Kurt Ape Amy was playing. Obviously if it was an Arabian Nights Kurt Ape, then it's going to be toast. But what about one of these attractive white bordered options? So using the oracle text gives us a really big hint at what the answer is. It indicates that we aren't going to be looking at the expansion symbol, we're rather going to be looking at the card's name. Since all of these cards are named Kurt Ape, they're all going to be getting affected exactly the same way. They either will or will not have to be sacrificed. Now, there's actually a rule in the comprehensive rules that specifically spells out all of the cards that City in a Bottle can affect. I'm not going to go through all of the card names this time, but I will take a look and sure enough, we can see that Kurt Ape is going to be on that list. And so that means that Amy's Kurt Ape, no matter what set it's from, is going to have to get sacrificed. So that's the first part of our question. Now let's take a look at Amy's clone. And unfortunately, I've got some bad news for Amy, which is that when you're copying an object, one of the things that gets copied is in fact the name of the card. So that means that even though clone was originally printed in alpha, this clone is currently named Kurt Ape. And that means that it has a name originally printed in Arabian Nights, and so it's going to meet the exact same fate that the Kurt Apes did. Before I sign off, I wanted to talk about a couple of really interesting consequences of the fact that they changed the wording on City in a Bottle like this. First of all, yeah, we can see that the clone gets affected because it's named Kurt Ape. And that is actually not how things used to work. Well, it's the same answer, but the way things used to work was that clone would also be copying the expansion symbol of whatever thing that it copied. Yes, expansion symbol actually did used to be a copyable characteristic. Nowadays, because of the way that they've changed the rules, the expansion symbol actually has no impact on gameplay. Another really interesting consequence of this ruling is that the card City in a Bottle and others like it are really hard counters for Spy Kit. So if you know somebody who's having just a little bit too much fun making their creatures be something that has every name, then it might be time for you to use one of these to show them the dark side of being named Kurt Ape and Sea Troll and all kinds of other stuff. It's not all sunshine and rainbows over there, unfortunately. But that's all I have for you today. How did you do? Join me again next time for another daily ruling, but until then, I hope you have a great day.